Do you know the longest lasting period in Japanese history? Is it the Edo period, which lasted for a long time without major conflicts? However, what is known as the Edo period lasted only about 230 years. The Heian period, when the culture of the elegant aristocracy flourished, also lasted only about 1,000 years. Even 1,000 years seems like a very long time. But there is an era that lasted much longer than that. The longest lasting period in Japanese history is the Jomon period, which first appears in history textbooks. The Jomon period is said to have begun 10,000 to 13,000 years ago, or 16,000 years ago. How long do you think the Jomon period lasted since then? Amazingly, The Jomon period lasted for 14,000 years until the next Yayoi period. Why did the Jomon period last for more than 10,000 years? And why did the Jomon era, which lasted for more than 10,000 years, end? We will show you the reasons for those surprises, so don't miss them. What is the Jomon period? The Jomon period began at the end of the Ice Age, a period of severe cold. To the transition to a warmer climate. At that time, people began to use a tool called Jomon pottery. Jomon pottery was decorated with patterns created by rolling a rope across its surface. The pattern is called Jomon, which is how it became the origin of the name. The Jomon period lasted for 14,000 years, starting around 13,000 BC. Based on the characteristics of the shape of the Jomon pottery used during that period, it is divided into six periods. There, in order of oldest to youngest, the initial period, early period, middle period, late period, and final period. The Jomon people lived on nature's bounty of food from the mountains and the sea. During the Jomon period, the climate was warmer than today. There were rich forests with chestnuts, walnuts, and other nuts. People used nuts, mushrooms, wild vegetables, and other mountain foods as their food. The forests were also home to deer, wild boar, hares, and other animals, so people hunted them to eat. They kept canines as their hunting partner. When canines died, they were buried like people. Excavation of the site revealed that canine bones were found in the cemetery, not in a shell midden where the trash was dumped. People fished in the sea and rivers. They took fish such as salmon and flatfish, and also ate shellfish such as whitebait and clams. The Jomon period has two great inventions they are pottery and the bow and arrow. The invention of pottery made it possible to cook and store food. The invention of the bow and arrow made it possible to aim at prey from a distance when hunting. It increased the success rate of hunting. The arrowheads were made of obsidian and other small sharply cut stone tools called ishizoku. They also used animal bones and horns to make fishing hooks and needles called bone and horn vessels and used lacquer to coat their tools. The Jomon made a variety of tools by making good use of familiar objects. In the Paleolithic period, before the Jomon period, people chased mammoths and other large animals. They lived on the move, and their dwellings are thought to have been tent like structures that could be easily assembled and disassembled. In the Jomon period, People built houses where they could settle down and created villages where they gathered together to live. They lived in half underground pit dwellings with a few pillars dug into the ground and a roof over the top. In the village, there was a large building for meetings, a cemetery, and a mound of shells and garbage. People in the Jomon period crossed the sea in wooden boats. They would then travel to far flung areas to trade and obtain local specialties. From the ruins of a Jomon era village, jade, which can only be found in the Itoigawa River area of Niigata Prefecture, obsidian from Hokkaido, and shells that can only be found in the southern seas. 
Why the Zhongmen period lasted over ten thousand years? How did the Zhongmen period last fourteen thousand years? Here are some of the reasons for this surprise. The first reason is that the Zhongmen period was a time of peace without conflict. In the Zhongmen period, people were serious about living with nature and did not engage in wars and conflict such as power struggles and deprivations. This is based on the fact that Zhongmen bones found at the archaeological site show no evidence of wounds that could have been caused by human conflict. It is believed that during the Zhongmen period, there was no state system because deer and wild boars were hunted cooperatively, and everyone was on equal labor. These were proven by the discovery of a Sanai Maruyama site in Aomori Prefecture. The Sanai Maruyama site is formed with a settlement of about 500 houses, surrounded by a well-kept broadleaf forest. The village has separate water plants for drinking and sewage. Show mounds for garbage dumping and a cemetery are also located in the community. However, there was no evidence of the existence of classes within the ruins. It is said that power struggles and wars started in the Yayoi period. When rice cultivation began, rice cultivation depends on the soil and weather of each region. If people hear that there is a large harvest in the country, some people will try to take it away from them for survival. Living solely on the bounty of nature, the Jomo were able to build a society that avoided unnecessary conflict while inventing essential technologies. This is thought to be the main reason why the Zhongmen period lasted for more than ten thousand years. The second reason the Zhongmen period lasted over ten thousand years was the invention of Zhongmen pottery. Stone tools have been in use since the Paleolithic period before the Zhongmen period. They are hard and useful for making hunting tools, but because they are not flexible, processing them is time-consuming. However, with the invention of Zhongmen pottery, with clay, they were able to create pottery forms as they wanted. In this way, food preparation and storage became possible, and the food supply of the Zhongmen period was greatly enhanced. The third reason the Zhongmen period lasted more than 10,000 years was climate warming. During the Zhongmen period, the four seasons were created by the warming of the earth after the end of the Ice Age. The forest changed from coniferous forest, which had been dominated by pine trees, to broadleaf forest where nuts were used as food. The Jomon people were able to fully enjoy the blessings of nature. In addition to gathering plants, they could also cultivate chestnuts and other plants, hunting deer and wild boar to obtain meat. The invention of pottery made it possible to cook and store nuts. During the Ice Age, hunting prey was large beasts, such as mammoth. However, global warming has changed the hunting target to smaller prey, such as deer and wild boar, which has increased the success rate of hunting, and that contributed to a better food situation. Thus, they enjoyed the blessings of nature with its mild climate, and abundant four seasons. In addition, the establishment of a society in which people were equal and free from conflict. These are believed to be the reasons why the Zhongmen period lasted for more than 10,000 years. Why the Zhongmen period ended? Then how did the Zhongmen period, which was peaceful and free from conflict and blessed with nature, come to an end? Two factors may account for this. The first factor is rapid climate change. The Jomon culture, which had developed as a result of warming climate, gradually declined from the end of the mid to late Jomon period as the climate cooled again. Cold weather reduced the supply of food from forest and hunting. It became difficult to maintain the Jomon culture up until then. If you look at shell mounds from the late and final Jomon period, we can see that they were eating shellfish less than 0.4 inches in length. They managed to survive on dwindling food supplies. In fact, by the end of the Jomon period, 
The Japanese archipelago's rapid population decline occurred. The reason for this is the decrease in food availability due to the colder climate, large scale natural disasters, or the spread of new infectious diseases. Various theories are floating around. With the Yayoi period, cold weather gradually ended. Rice cultivation enabled a stable food supply, and the population decline recovered. The second factor that brought the Jomon period to an end was the advent of the migratory people. At the end of the Jomon period, mainland China was in the midst of a turbulent period, known as the Warring States period. There was warfare in many places, and the situation was very unstable. A period of warfare continued until Qin Shi Fa unified China. People were on the move in search of safe land. Around the same time, the Jomon period was nearing a dead end in the Japanese archipelago. Strange people appeared in northern Kyushu. They were evacuees from the worn torn continent. They arrived in Japan in search of a new land. Then, they went to the wetlands and began to act strangely. That was the beginning of rice cultivation in Japan. After witnessing rice cultivation in the rice paddies, the Jomon people quickly adopted rice cultivation culture. Since the Jomon traded over a wild area, they were not ignorant of the rice culture of the continent, nor did they stubbornly reject rice cultivation. As long as the Jomon people had the blessings of the forest, they simply did not need to change their way of life. However, when the Jomon culture was approaching its limits, and when they saw the rice cultivation of the migrant people, they flexibly adopted the rice culture. In this way, rice cultivation rapidly spread from Kyushu to the Chugok region, Kinki region, and then to eastern Japan. Thus, the Jomon period came to an end. In the Yayoi period, a time of rice cultivation was ushered in. Roots of the Jomon and Japanese people. Then, do we Japanese living today have our roots in the people in the Jomon period? Or are the Yayoi, who came from the continent, the ancestor of the Japanese? 30,000 to 40,000 years ago, humans first arrived in the Japanese archipelago. The ancestors of the Jomon are thought to be a mixture of northern people who migrated from Southeast Asia, northward through China to Hokkaido and Honshu, and southern people who migrated from Southeast Asia, northward through the Japanese archipelago. Human bones found at the Jomon period site are evaluated that the Jomon life was other ethnic groups' life, with both northern and southern people living together. In other words, the Jomon people lived peacefully for more than 10,000 years, without ethnic barriers. Examination of the Jomon bones shows that they are relatively small, with an average height of about 5 feet 2 inches for men, and 4 feet 10 inches for women. But their limbs were well muscled, and they were good at running. The survival rate for infants was not high, but they were probably doing their best to stay alive. Then, after about 2,800 years ago, the migratory Yayoi, who had a northern continental face, came over from the continent, fleeing warfare. Initially, the migratory Yayoi people settled near Kitakyushu and the Seto Island Sea. They eventually intermingled and interbred with the Jomon people, forming the later Kofun period Japanese. The ancestors of modern Japanese are thought to be a mixture of Jomon and migratory Yayoi people. The Japanese archipelago was originally inhabited by Jomon people, and later became the Yayoi people. The result is the modern Japanese. Mainland Japanese, who make up the majority of the current Japanese population, are known to be a mixture of 30% Jomon, and 70% yayoi of migratory descent in terms of genetic percentage. Looking more closely, there are roughly three ethnic lineages in the Japanese archipelago. The Ainu people, 
who reside mainly in Hokkaido, are direct descendants and strongly influenced by the Jomun people. Japanese living on the mainland are influenced strongly by the migratory Yayoi people. The Ryukyuan of Okinawa are half Jomun and half Yayoi influences. In this way, the modern Japanese people were formed. However, please remember that this tendency has diminished in the modern age when people are more mobile than in the past. That's all for this issue. Thank you for watching. If you like, please support us by giving us a high rating and subscribing to our channel. Have a nice day.